Hello and welcome! Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Let us know in the comments what games you're gonna watch today. And meanwhile, we are getting started. Musial is like Messi, that's Hollywood. His value is a quarter of a billion. Lothar Matthaus confided to Sky Sport Deutschland. Chelsea have failed to win five straight Premier League games for the first time in 10 years, according to Squawka. Arab Chupamoting has scored 10 goals in his nine last matches for Bayern. Arsenal are at top of the Premier League table ahead of Boxing Day for the first time in nine years. Cristiano Ronaldo didn't travel to Fulham for the Sunday game. He doesn't want to put himself at risk with the World Cup on his mind. Vincent Company has been named the Manager of the Month for October in the Sky Bat Championship. On the World Cup break, I'll play a bit of golf and take a bit of rest. James Milner reveals his plans. It was a massive win over Man City. We defeated one of the richest clubs in the world, and we have a low budget. We are at the bus stop in Hounslow against the best team in the world. Brentford head coach Thomas Frank said after the game. There are rumors in Argentina that Mari Cardi is doing everything he can to be back together with Wanda. The soap opera is underway. I felt a little discomfort, but nothing serious, so there is still time. By November 22nd, the day of France's first game, I will be mentally and physically fit, Karim Benzema told Marca. We are monitoring Sadio Mane's injury situation. We sent a doctor from the national team to him. Yesterday, he spent the whole day in Munich and then traveled to Austria for further exams. The good news is he won't need an operation. Senegal boss Aloisi said, we are not gonna sign anyone in January. We are pleased with the squad we have. Man City head coach Pep Guardiola admitted. Erling was born for scoring goals. He is going to break all of the records for sure. He has a huge impact on the team and he's a beast. Holland's teammate Rodri told Man City's press. Brentford striker Ivan Toni has scored at least two goals in a single Premier League game for the third time this season. Only Erling Haaland has a higher score doing this in five games this season. World Cup hosts Qatar have announced their squad for the tournament. All 26 players are from a domestic league. Milan winger Rafael Liao has been named Serie A player of the month for October. The 23-year-old Portuguese scored two goals and made one assist in five October games. The money we got from Coutinho's transfer to Barcelona we spent wisely, Jurgen Klopp admitted. I don't like feeling sorry for myself, but it's difficult not to dwell sometimes, Harry Maguire said. Atletico Madrid left back Sergio Reguilon was admitted to the hospital with an acute digestive condition. The evolution of his symptoms will mark his hospital discharge. The Premier League club should be more responsible and think about the number of emissions that come from long-haul flights. That is not great. Chelsea head coach Graham Potter stated, I am very proud, especially about one thing, that we had a club that was in a difficult state and today we have a club that I and we can feel proud of, Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta claimed. Saudi Arabia has announced the World Cup squad with all 26 players representing their domestic league. Bournemouth want to invite Marcelo Bielsa, a former head coach of Argentina national team, Lazio and Leeds United. I'm happy and proud when fans compare me to Diego Maradona, Napoli star Hvica Kvartzheli admitted. Arsenal have reportedly agreed with Yuri Tillemans over his move as a free agent in the summer of 2023. Manchester United head coach Eric Ten Hag is ready to let Fred leave as a free agent next summer, The Guardian writes. Pedri revealed that he wants to improve his scoring and named Real Madrid's midfielder Fede Valverde as an example to follow. Yes, well, uh, Fede is playing higher now, but it's clear that he is a good example. I have to improve in that aspect, Pedri told Marca. Chelsea have Ruben Loftus-Cheek and Cesar Spilicueta injured in the first half of the 1-0 defeat to Newcastle. Real Madrid are in contact with the interrush of Gianluca Prestiani over a possible transfer. He is currently valued at 2 million euros by transfer market. We have full confidence in Xavi, and I can assume you that we are very proud of the coach we have. He knows the club very well and the moment at which he arrived. He also keeps letting the club know everything that can be improved, Laporta said. Elge considered cutting Alex Collado's loan short in January. Kvitsa Kvartelia's value has an incredible fourfold increase in 2022. Transfermarkt has set the €60 million price tag for the Georgian winger. 
Brentford manager to beat both Man City and United in a single English top division season for the first time in 85 years. Jamal Musiala became the youngest player to make 100 appearances for Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga. Saturday brought us tons of high-quality European football. Let's have a look at the results. We are moving on to the top news. Let's briefly recap the game that took place yesterday. In Bundesliga, we point out Bayern Munich's yet another victory, this time 2-0 over Schalke away. Gnabry and Chupa Mateng celebrate their goals with Musiala's assisting them both. Nagelsmann's side has cleaned up the early mess, now confidently leading the standings. In Serie A, Napoli keep proving to everyone their serious intentions in the gold medal run. They achieved a 3-2 victory against Tafi Udinese. Asiman, Zelinski, and Elmas especially delighted Spalletti with their names on the score sheet. Saving the best for last, the Premier League. Liverpool beat Southampton 3-1 with Darwin Nunez scoring twice. Tottenham overcame Leeds in a must-see comeback thriller 4-3. Newcastle defeated Chelsea thanks to Willex Banger and climbed up the standings to become third ahead of the break. Man City sensationally lost to Brentford at the Etihad, which Arsenal happily took advantage of, making a five-point gap between the leaders after defeating Wolverhampton 2-0 with Odegaard's brace. Barcelona are reportedly tracking Alejandro Garnacho's contract situation at Manchester United. Fichajes writes that the Catalans are hoping to get him for free. Garnacho had a really impressive performance recently, scoring once and assisting twice in his last three games for United. The teenager's stock has risen significantly, attracting the interest of Europe's top sites. But the Red Devils are set to be discussing a new five-year deal with a teenager whose current deal expires in 2025. Although unlikely, it's being claimed that Barca will wait for the deal to expire. According to ESPN Brazil, Andrek's current preferred destination is Chelsea because he wants to play in the Premier League. Real Madrid are said to be obsessed with a 16-year-old Brazilian sensation, but it seems like they will have a bit of convincing to do. At the moment, Paris Saint-Germain are the only club to have presented an offer to Palmeiras for Andrek. The Brazilian club rejected the initial 45 million euros offer, and PSG promised to get back later with an improved bid of 60 million euros. Chelsea have let Palmeiras know that they are ready to match the amount. Real Madrid, as well as Barcelona, are yet to officially enter the race. Spain national team midfielder Pedri has revealed his World Cup expectations. It's difficult to say so early if we can win the World Cup. We have to see ourselves in the situation. We have a good team and we have to go for it. Brazil and Argentina are two spectacular teams. I think Messi deserves a World Cup. Hopefully we win it. But if Spain doesn't win, I want Messi to win it with Argentina," Pedri said. PSG and Brazil national team winger Neymar admitted that the 2022 World Cup in Qatar can be his final tournament. I'll play like it's the last. I always talk with my father that I have to play each game as if it were the last because I don't know what will happen tomorrow. I can't guarantee that I'll play another World Cup. I honestly don't know. I'll play like it's the last. Maybe I'll play another one, maybe not. There is gonna be a coaching change, and I don't know if that coach will like me. The 30-year-old superstar told Globo Esporte. Manchester United could look to put in a bid for Atletico Madrid's Joao Felix in the coming weeks, according to reports coming from Spain. Cadena Ser has reported that Felix is back on United's minds and the negotiations could be facilitated as Cristiano Ronaldo and Felix share the same agent, Jorge Mendes. According to us, United had a bid of £113 million rejected by Colchoneros in the summer. Florian Plattenberg from Sky Germany adds that Ronaldo is expected to leave United in the January window. Hence, Joao can arrive to replace him. Paris Saint-Germain and Barcelona keep fighting for Ali Messi. The French side desires to extend Lionel's stay in Paris and already started the work in this direction, as they initiate the negotiation process with the Argentinians and Tarash. On the flip side, here's what Barcelona's president Joan Laporta told Sport S, inviting Messi to make his camp no return. Messi's return to Barca in 2023? Leon knows that Barcelona is always his home. The 35-year-old himself is still not certain about his future, having in mind Inter Miami's offer as well. Dear friends, 
Choose anything you like in our suggested video section and enjoy watching. And it was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.